Somehow, it is a strange feeling to know that these will be our last days in Namibia. We spent a fantastic week on a farm near Gobabis and reel now leisurely through the eastern backcountry to the south. Actually, it is quite a barren landscape, but along the old riverbed that serves as a road, there are still growing quite a few trees. Obviously, there is still some water down in the underground. Since we had no desire to board endless kilometers on one of the large tarred roads, we looked for an alternative on the map and found it. A small dirt road which took us without detours in the right direction. Only after a short time we were excited. We have been taken with this beautiful secluded valley with the great sandstone hills. The landscape seems unreal and we enjoy the solitude and peace. Obviously it had been raining recently. The mud splashed in all directions. But that was not only funny, but sometimes also very slippery. It felt almost like soft soap. And suddenly there was another descent into another small valley, also very pretty. We were definitely lucky this time with our road choice. Granted, sometimes it was a bit tight. And even tighter. Then men, women and Globi are looking forward to a dry riverbed, which is at least wide enough, even if it's a bit bumpy though. After a day's drive, we reached the big tar road again. Pretty straight, the whole thing. And clearly time to move to the sleeping place. We chose a campsite from an artist who put up his funny figures which are made of rubbish everywhere. And we also like the beautiful quiver trees everywhere. And the last road section in Namibia to the border of South Africa was once again an absolute highlight. How did we love this ride? We could bend over 70 kilometers through an endless hilly landscape. That was almost better than riding a roller coaster. This was a truly brilliant termination in a magnificent country that we had learned to appreciate in the last three years. Travel is really fun here.